An ABC News investigation into the recycling of plastic bags that resulted in two of the biggest retailers in the country being dropped from the recycling directory. For the past decade or so, a national directory listed thousands of big box stores like Walmart and Target as places where consumers could recycle their plastic bags and film. So we wanted to see how much of that actually gets recycled. Our chief national correspondent Matt Gutman has much more on the surprising results. Over the past six months, ABC News has been investigating how plastic bags are recycled in America. And months later, late at night, it led us here. The oldest incinerators in the country. Resulting in Walmart and Target being dropped from a national online directory of plastic bag and film recycling until the directory can confirm the bags are being recycled and not landfilled or incinerated. In December, ABC News teamed up with nine of our affiliates and owned stations, depositing 46 trackers at bins labeled for plastic bag recycling at Walmart and Target stores across the country. Each tracking device was super glued into one bag, then wrapped in several layers of plastic bags. We got four, five. Our teams fanning out across 10 states, dropping them off at stores with bins labeled for plastic bag recycling. This is the North Side Walmart uh, here in Austin. The stores work with third parties to pick up the bags. We traveled coast to coast from incinerators. It looks like a building sized blowtorch to landfills. Plastics and things like that. That's not what our facility is made for. And to Washington, D.C. I hope you understand my frustration. Oh, I do. Right the trackers the pinging whenever a mobile the phone or digital device was recycled. near. Of the 46 trackers, many ended up in landfills or incinerators, and only four of them ended up in facilities involved with recycling plastic bags. Three others were shipped to the other side of the world to Southeast Asia. How much of what people think is being recycled actually ends up here at an incinerator? Globally, the amount of resources that we're able to cover to recover across the whole globe right now is sitting at around 9%. How much do people think that they're recycling? I think they think it's a lot more. We asked the American Chemistry Council, which introduced the plastic bag and film recycling program a decade ago as a way to help reduce plastic waste, about how few of the bags actually made it to a potential recycler. Is the plastic drop-off recycling program at retailers. Is that working? It doesn't work to the scale that we want. In a statement, Target said they're committed to looking at our processes to improve our recycling efforts. And Walmart said it's pursuing initiatives to reduce the use of single-use plastic, including plastic bags. And Matt is joining us now from Los Angeles for much more on this. Matt, this is great reporting, as alarming as it is. We know that there are probably a great many reasons for all of these issues. One of them, of course, is that plastic recycling can be a bit confusing or multi-layered. Break it all down for us and what you learned. Uh, plastic has always been problematic to recycle, right? It needs to be cleaned and that needs to be processed. Often plastic bags specifically can gum up the works of any uh, MRF, a material recycling facility that actually does the separation. Um, plastic also has all those numbers on the back, so consumers have to try to separate it and know what should actually be trashed and what should be recycled. So we're also to blame. Um, so it is very difficult to do and a streamline process has not really been created yet, which is why we're stuck with the system as it is, Trevor. I learned the last time I went to my hometown in Ohio that where my parents live, they've discontinued recycling because it's so expensive to sort everything out because it's so complicated. Uh, Matt, this investigation was six months in the making here. Obviously, a ton of work went into it, and you've got results. What else are we going to learn in this special later tonight? So much, but I just want to actually jump on something you noted that... Um, in Ohio, they discontinued recycling there. One of the problems is that new plastic is cheaper to produce than to recycle used plastic, and that's why they keep making more of it. It really is complex. So one of the things we're going to learn is that so many uh, of our plastic bags seem to be shipped overseas. We're going to learn that the um, trade industry that has been trying for so many years to figure out a way to create a directory well, that's not quite working either. And the bottom line is that there are these people in fence line communities like Peekskill, New York, and in Chester, Pennsylvania, that are suffering, that they say they are breathing in the material that's being burned from incinerators and from landfills, and they are suffering as a consequence. Uh, this is a far-ranging story. We don't actually have a solution. The experts say 
Don't give up, however. Do not give up on recycling. Just try to do it smarter. Think about reusing and reducing before you recycle, and only then try to recycle what you know can be recycled, Trevor. I am curious, Matt, while we have you, I mean, those results, obviously, the 46 trackers, less than 10% of them made it to an actual facility where you could recycle it. When you're bringing this information to the people that are working so hard to actually get things recycled if they can, are they surprised at your findings? Did they kind of already think this was going on? What did, what did they tell you? Most people did think that it was going on, and, and by and large, Americans really do try to recycle, and we've spoken to people in the streets, everywhere. There is an attempt being made. They understand that there are limitations here. There are technical limitations and also coordination. There are like 9,000 different recycling jurisdictions in America and no streamlined way of doing it. The question is, how do we make it better? There may not be an answer. The easiest answer is to produce less plastic, but that is hard to do, especially when you're the American Chemistry Council, uh, a trade organization which represents plastic makers, and they want to make more plastic. Um, so this is the friction that we're coming up against. Uh, next year in Paris, there's going to be a UN, a massive UN conference, and hopefully they come up with a treaty that will delineate exactly uh, how plastic can be disposed of and made in the country and the rest of the world. Trevor. And at the very least, this is shining a light on the problem. Matt Gutman, thanks so much. And yeah. for much more on this ABC News investigation, we want to be sure you check out Trashed, The Secret Life of Plastic Recycling. It airs tonight at 8.30 p.m. Eastern right here on ABC News Live. It's also streaming on Hulu. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.